this demonstration, we are going to deploy the Theme Direct Restore to Microsoft Azure feature from the Microsoft Azure Marketplace. Note that you need to log in into the new Azure portal with the credentials for your subscription. In the Azure portal, select the plus sign in the menu on the left to deploy a new resource. Type in Veeam in the search box to view all the solutions Veeam has deployed in the Azure Marketplace. Select Veeam Direct Restore to Microsoft Azure. On the page that appears, select the Veeam Direct Restore to Microsoft Azure result. Now click on the Create button. The next page shows you more information about this feature. After you have reviewed it, click Create again to start customizing the virtual machine you are going to deploy. First you need to configure the basic settings. You need to provide a name for the virtual machine, a username and password to be able to log in, and the subscription which you want to use. Finally, you need to decide whether you're going to create a new resource group or use an already existing one. Depending on your specific needs, it might be necessary that you change the location here as well. In the next step, we need to select the virtual machine size. Depending on your selection, the monthly recurring costs can vary a lot. This is probably an important decision you need to take. Not enough resources will make the experience slow, and too many resources rather expensive. Even when you take into consideration that you can scale out, you still need to think about the Azure scale units. Step 3 will allow you to customize even further. Decisions will need to be made about storage, networking, monitoring and availability of your virtual machine. In storage you will need to choose the type of disk which will depend on the type of virtual machine you have chosen. In the networking part, I have chosen all the defaults to create new resources, but you can select already created resources or modify whatever is necessary to fit your environment. In the monitoring part, I choose to enable the diagnostics, but this is again something that you need to look at for yourself. Last but not least, you will decide about the availability of your virtual machine and choose to put it into an availability set or not. After reviewing all your selections, you can choose OK to go to the last step. In this last step, you will get the overview of the estimated pricing cost and more information on the terms of use. Finally, click on the Purchase button to start the deployment of the virtual machine. Our feature is now being deployed in Microsoft Azure. For this demonstration, we sped up this process. When the deployment is finished, you will have a new virtual machine running based on your selections with Theme Direct Restore to Microsoft Azure embedded on it. You will see the monitoring information if you have enabled that, the public IP address and much more. Note that you need to have that public IP address or the fully qualified domain name to remotely access that virtual machine through RDP. You can also click on the connect button in the menu and download an RDP file that is already pre-configured with the connection details. In this demonstration, we showed you how to deploy this feature into Microsoft Azure. More demonstrations on how you can upload backups and restore a virtual machine can be found at theme.com. Thank you.